this is mrs sheetal deshpande i welcome you in today's session today we will continue with your right my right human rights as you know my dear students we have here the concept 8.1 human rights and human rights organization need to move for the next what is human rights the rights which are the same for all people all over the world are called human rights let's see for image we have here the two image one symbolize about the human rights symbol another image is about what world map what it highlights it highlights nothing but human rights are same for all over the world let's see the detail about human rights the universal declaration of human rights is a document written by representatives with a different legal and cultural backgrounds they have gathered where they have gathered general assembly in paris here in first image you may get the idea of that general assembly which was held in paris and another image what it symbolize it symbolize about the declaration of human rights let's see the detail about it it was adopted by the united nations general assembly in paris on 10th december 1948 yes my dear students what you need to keep in mind here the day and year on which day the human rights were declared 10th december 1948 when we will think more about the 10th december 10th december is celebrated as the international human rights day these human rights state that every person has the same human rights it regardless of his her religion race caste or gender there are 30 basic human rights let's see some important human rights we have here few human rights let's see the detail about it each person is born free everyone has equal rights and dignity see by seeing the two images what do you understand we have a different colors we have a different community we have a different religions but then also we have the same right let's see for the next no one can be treated with cruelty if we will go back and if we will think about the mongolian period if we will think about the colonial period we faced the slavery in our country but now we are very lucky we are the part of free country we have our own constitution and due to that constitution no one can be treated with cruelty let's see for the third one what is it no one can be made a slave see here we have some images what it symbolize it symbolize the slavery but as we are the part of free country we have a powerful constitution with us no one can be made a slave let's see the next everyone has the right to work and to choose a suitable type of work see here we have some images equal pay for equal work what it symbolize it symbolize if we are doing the same work for same post we have the right to get the same payment what is the right about it each worker has the right to equal pay for equal work our third image what it symbolize the same only equal pay for equal work we have here most important fifth right what is it everyone has the right to education yes it's not matter you are from which community it's not matter you are from which religion it's not matter you are from which class but we have the right to get the education so in this way today we have covered about the different human rights given by our constitution we have many more human rights that we need to think in next session thank you very much have a nice day ahead